I'm going to take you through using the Bar Sensing A2P Sport app, and we'll go through an example of the squat exercise protocol. First thing you'll do is you'll select the athlete name who's going to be doing the workout. And the first time you get the system set up, you'll have to sync the Bar Sensei to the iPad. We'll end up getting a check mark and then a battery level indicator, green, so we're at just about a full charge, if not a full charge. Hit next and we can select the exercise. The system defaults on squat, but you can see here with a simple touch, you can select whichever exercise you'd like to. Now we have to make sure we have the proper load in there. The load is very important if you wanna look at power. And to set that load, I'll just touch on here. We've got 225 on the bar. Touch away, make sure that we're in pounds, not kg. And now we'll be ready to go. So I'll have um, Chase step in and he'll show you an example of using the Bar Sensei squat exercise protocol for three repetitions. So when I hit the start button, there's a countdown. Countdown allows the lifter some time to get out and get in the ready position. On the ding, he's going to complete one repetition then come back to the tall stable position. Okay, go ahead and rack it. And so we have the system configured right now to look at peak speed, pop 100, and then distance. And so his peak speed was 1.39 meters per second. If you're more interested in average or mean, you do have the option to change to average speed. And also you have your bar graph down here giving you a summary of the results. There's your introduction of using the Bar Sensei in the A2P Sport app.